massive settlement that changes the way homes are bought and sold goes into effect this month. Fox 26 business reporter Tom Ziska says it will add some responsibility and cost to would be home buyers. Tom. Rashid Caroline, good afternoon to you. In the spring, you may recall the National Association of Realtors settled for $418 million, a class action lawsuit that alleged a price fixing conspiracy to inflate broker fees. It's supposed to provide some transparency to the home buying process, but it adds another complication in an already tight housing market. 50% of all real estate agents have not sold a single home this year. Not one single home. So they are already struggling. Real estate agent Trisha Turner says tight inventory, high prices, and inflated interest rates are already making home sales a tough sell for many. The Houston Association of Realtors reports June sales were down more than 11% over a year ago. Now new settlement rules will add work and costs for would-be buyers. Before this agreement, when a house went on the market, the seller typically paid the cost of all of the agents involved. It was usually about 6%, 3% for each side. And that information was stipulated on the listing, specifically how much the buyer's broker, the buyer's agent would get out of the deal for bringing somebody in to take a look at the place and maybe put their money down. That's what's changing here. Now, if you want to buy a home, you've got to find your own agent, your own broker, and negotiate how much money they will earn and sign a contract every time you come to look at a house. It will mean a lot of extra work just to look as brokers will have to justify what they earn for what they do. All of it designed to give buyers and sellers flexibility over what they pay. If you're a buyer's agent, you're going to want something rather than nothing. So you're going to have to make the deal work and those buyer agreements can be amended. So just because a buyer's agent says, I want you to pay me 2% and the buyer says, yes, those can be amended and changed. So the net effect here is that sellers will generally see their costs down while buyers will often have to pay for a service that was previously rolled into the whole market deal. Consequently, they'll want to find someone who knows what they are doing. That's where research and recommendations will play a huge part. Watching Your Money, I'm Tom Ziska, Fox 26 News.